It's been very touching. I originally came out here today thanking people for their love and support of my grandfather and my father's ministries. The casket was made down in a prison called Angola State Penitentiary down in Louisiana. This is the Camp A Carpenter Shop, where senior carpenter Richard Liggett, among other things, builds coffins for the prisoners here at Angola. But this time, he's building one special coffin. We were down there for a prison rodeo, and my father had seen these caskets being made. He came back and told my grandmother, he said he'd bought her a gift. He'd bought her a casket made by prisoners, and my grandmother thought it was outstanding. I've been in Angola 35 years. I build every casket just like I would have mine built. Reverend Graham has always preached on the humility of man and in order to, to grow in Christ likeness, you know, we must humble ourselves. And I think that this is kind of his final statement to that effect where he'll be buried in a coffin that's made by the poor or the prisoner. The prisoners are people that need forgiveness too. And that's what my grandmother loved about it, that we all need forgiveness. You know, the cross has the most significance. That's where the ultimate sacrifice was made for mankind. The cross and the resurrection of Christ offers forgiveness of sin, offers a whole new life, and offers you eternal life if you come to the cross by repentance and faith.